So press ahead with means to continue doing something in a determined way, mm -hmm. even though it might be difficult. So right. this is something that we just learned from our shortcut for you. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to that sentence and look at the noun dependence, which is spelled D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-C-E, -E -E, dependence. Now dependence is a situation in which you need someone or something in order to live or succeed. So if you don't have them, you will either fail in what you're doing or you might die. <laughs> As an example, our dependence on water to survive means that we cannot go without it. Mm -hmm. So if we don't have water, we're, we die. we're probably going to die. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so we also saw the word fossil fuel. Okay, basically mm -hmm. fossil fuel is a type of fuel we use that is formed from dead plants and animals. Okay. Yeah, so this is something that we use a lot, mm -hmm. but unfortunately um, it causes a lot of pollution. Right. And it's not it's, very good for the earth. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. damaging the earth a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, we can also use it in a sentence like this. There aren't a lot of fossil fuels left for humans to use, mm -hmm. so we must find an alternative. Luckily, we have people like Elon Musk doing that for us. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've looked at the two companies SpaceX and Tesla Motors in depth, but let's bring it back to a more general view of Musk's companies. The article says, Musk's companies focus on continued space exploration and clean renewable energy. So we saw the phrase focus on here, which means to concentrate on something or pay a lot of attention to something. For example, we might say, in this English literature class, we will focus on two books, To Kill a Mockingbird and Little Women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we see here that he's really trying to do as much as he can to help the environment right. and to also, uh, I think, push the boundaries of science because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he wants to get into um, uh, space exploration. Right. Yeah. So exploration is our vocabulary word. So exploration, E-X-P-L-O-R-A-T-I-O-N, mm -hmm. it's a noun and it means to find new discoveries by observing or looking carefully at something. So we talked about space exploration, right. which is just to discover what is in outer space. All right. Mm -hmm. How else could we use it in a sentence, though? We can say Christopher Columbus's exploration led him to discover the new world, which was North America ah, at that time. Ah, okay. okay. So that's some, some exploration that happened on the Earth a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So by focusing on these two areas, Musk is able to do amazing things in the world of science. In fact, the article says... In that way, he brings the most amazing ideas to life. Now we saw the phrase bring something to life, which means to make something more exciting or interesting. Now we could use it in a sentence like this. The story is a bit boring. Adding a fight between the characters might bring it to life a bit. Mm. Mm. And we'll continue reading the article. It says, above all though, Musk's story shows that all of his success is thanks to hard work and a complete faith in his projects. All right. Okay. So, above all is overall. Mm -hmm. So above everything, uh, it's doing great. Right. Yeah. Let's look at the adjective complete, which is spelled C-O-M-P-L-E-T-E, -E, complete. It's used to say that something is as great as it possibly could be. For example, the teachers are in complete control of the situation. We don't need to worry about anything. We also mm -hmm. saw the word faith, mm -hmm. F-A-I-T-H, and it means your belief in something or your strong belief or trust. Right. For example, we can say, I have faith that I will pass all of my exams. Oh, good. Well, that actually finishes up our Elon Musk article, so let's get to our For You chat question now.